Moscow and Beijing claim to have deployed versions of their super-fast missiles, which can travel up to five times the speed of sound whilst carrying a nuclear payload and evade most radar defenses. But the West is catching up, says Professor Alessio Patolano of King's College London. Our adversaries have been looking at hypersonics for quite some time and the West is behind, said Professor Patolano last night. But we do have the technical skills and industrial know-how to catch up and even surpass whatever our strategic rivals may possess. It follows a new £1 billion tender by the government to entice defense companies to accelerate the development of a new generation of hypersonic weapons. The UK has already confirmed it will work with other nations such as Australia, as part of the AUKUS deal, Japan, with whom we are developing Tempest, a supersonic stealth fighter jet, and even the US to develop hypersonics. According to an official MOD document, the latest tender will create a so-called framework which will be used to facilitate collaboration between MOD, industry and academia to accelerate the acquisition of an advanced hypersonic strike capability. Professor Patolano said, we already have hypersonics to a degree. If you think about the latest updates to Tomahawk, or what is in the pipeline for GCAP, then we already are there to an extent. But we need to get to the next generation. And this £1 billion tender is just the beginning. The money will support the growth of the defense industry and the development of long-range capability at home. We need to give industry what it needs to develop ideas. Don't miss. Vladimir Putin's horror threat over 16,700 miles per hour nuclear-capable missiles. Last week the UK, Japan and Italy officially cemented the trilateral deal to develop Tempest, officially called the Global Combat Air Program, at an official signing ceremony in Tokyo. The program is already relying heavily on AI, which has created a digital twin in order to make experimentation cheaper. Affordability and shared risk are crucial, said Professor Patalano. When it comes to the next generation, the UK certainly doesn't have the capacity to go it alone. As with NCAP, the hypersonic program is about sharing the risk of development and, of course, also the cost. He added, by the late 2020s we will have the advanced version of Tomahawk which will allow us to gain parity with our competitors. By the mid-2030s we can have the next generation, which will overtake what Russia has.